All right, Jake, here's one of your runs on the GS course last weekend. Pretty bumpy. Got some ruts, some holes. That's what happens when we're trending at 55 degrees. Let's check it out at regular motion and then slow it down. Someone liked it from the lift, yelling and whatnot. Yeah, it was bumpy, as I said. Um, really, all the more reason we have to be strong on the outside ski. We have to be balanced on the outside ski. We've got to power through these things, absorb them, and be in a strong athletic position to absorb any terrain. And, uh, you know, kind of hands by your sides really is not the best way to really be trying to absorb terrain, be balanced, right? Got to drive those hands forward. Keep them forward past the gate. Better right here. We'll see it. You know, hands are a little better positioned there. Absolutely. But, so a couple things. One, got to move the hands forward. We've got to be more on the outside ski. And this is your third run down. We talked about inspection, how we had to this gate. We had to be really high, give ourselves lots of room in the rise line, get outside rise line, bring shape back and be well ahead of it to carry speed in the flat. And obviously you're, you didn't. You went way too direct, not enough space above and uh, paid the price going across the hill now. Carrying that low line right there again. But outside ski, that's where I have to be, man. And uh, you can see right there, you know, the divergence. You got the scissoring. You're really starting this turn really on the outside, on the inside ski. All right? I see no bend of the outside ski right there. We are on inside ski until right around now. We now need to try to transfer some weight below the gate. We got to pressure the outside ski from really when we intersect rise line through fall line. Again, here I can see a little scissoring going on, really cheating and starting to turn on the inside ski. And hands by your pockets again. So, kind of rode the, uh, you know, again, because you're on the inside ski here, the ski's really never hooked up. The arc will lengthen. We're looking to really produce some kind of short, powerful arcs and get the turn down. Like right now, if you really stood on that outside ski, your right ski, you'd have the thing come around. And you'd be tight to the gate. Look at where you are relative to the gate. Well, below it. We want to be passing the panel with direction done tight to the gate. Now you're running a low line and you're gonna turn against the bumps and holes and look at what happens. Yeah, so. Especially when it gets bumpy and, and holy, we gotta be a really be above it and make sure we're not fighting and turning against uh, the bumps and you were, you were fighting and turning against the ruts all the way down this lower section, so. Let's drive the hands forward past the gate. Let's get in the outside ski. And let's make sure we uh, execute a good line. <laughs> 